Hi everybody. We are going to explain in this video the properties of Laplace transform. There are many properties of Laplace, but we are going to focus only on these two things. The first one, when you multiply e minus a t by the function, and the second one, when you make fish, when you make shift in time for the function, as is here. Well, just let's uh, discover that through that example. We have to find the Laplace for x one of t, which is equal to e power minus 3t multiplied by ut. So I'm going to use the property as you say that when you multiply a function f of t by e to the power minus a t, all what you're supposed to do, you replace every s by s plus a. In the example I have here, I have e minus a, it's, it's given 3. So it's e to the power minus 3t ut. I know u, u of t, the Laplace is equal to 1 over s. So all what I supposed to do according to this property, I replace every s by s plus a. So the first step I supposed to find a. How you find a? Well, that's e minus three t. That's e minus a t. When you compare them, you'll find a is equal three. So the answer will be one over s plus three, and that would be the Laplace transform for e minus three t u t. All right. Now let's go to the second one, x2 of t e minus 3t plus x, all right? So we need to find e to the power minus 3t plus 6 multiplied by ut minus t. The question how to find the Laplace for this one. We have a property, the second one, time shift. Say that if you have the function and you shift it by constant t, multiply it by unit step, shift it also by the same amount of time giving that t is positive or zero, what you will get? You get the Laplace of the original function. What do you mean by this? The Laplace for f of t, and then multiply it by e to the power minus s, this constant t capital. So when you look for this example, the t was given by 2 equal 2. So I know now in the example t is equal 2. So I should express this function t in, in terms of t minus 2. So how you do that? All right. There's a, a, a nice way to do it. You just say, assume a variable q is equal t minus 2. Okay. So you substitute in this function. So e to the power of minus 3t plus 6 u t minus 2 in terms of q we'll have e to the power minus 3 and t accordingly will be equal to q plus 2 so you have q plus 2 plus 6 and u t minus 2 is equal q then that will be equal to e to minus 3 q minus 3 times 2 minus 6 you have plus 6 u of q minus 6 will uh, cancel so the function in the end you have e minus 3 q u q so you know how to find the transfer function for that it's like i mean 1 over s plus 3 now we should apply the shift after that how you apply the shift if you have to u t minus 2 and if t minus 2, you multiply it by e to the power minus s t, which is equal to, so multiply it by e to minus 2 s. So multiply that by e minus 2 s. So the final answer would be e to the power minus 2 s divided by s plus 3. And that's it. Well, let's take the third one. The third one, you have e minus 3t multiplied by ut minus 1. e to the power minus 3t ut minus 1. I'm going to apply the same technique. I will call a new variable q equal t minus 1. Accordingly, t will be equal q plus 1. Then I'll substitute in the function e minus 3 and t is equal q plus 1 
and u t minus 1 will be q. You have e minus 3q minus 3uq. And this one separated into 2, e minus 3q times e minus 3uq. Put the variable next to each other, this one and this one. So you have e to the power of minus 3q, uq, and this constant e to the power of minus 3. You know the transfer, I mean the Laplace for this one, will be 1 over s plus 3. And you know there is q is equal t minus 1, there is shift equal 1, so multiply it by e to the power of minus s1. And this constant just multiply it by in the top, e minus 3, because it's constant. So, and you can do it in the calculator to find this a number, you know, the simple number. So, in the end, the Laplace transform will be equal to e to the power minus 3, e to the power minus s over s plus 3, and we're done with the two properties. I hope it was clear.